the youth in Iran constitutes an enormous percentage of the population. I think something like 60%, 70% that are under the age of 25. One of the areas they've been very active is using uh, their internet savviness to overcome the censorship that's been uh, put in place. Uh, foreign media has been excluded from going uh, to sites to make uh, do political reporting. I think opposition uh, uh, websites and uh, papers have been uh, shut down. There have been two uses really that they've been making. One is the use of uh, social networking systems like Facebook and Twitter to overcome the general clampdown uh, uh, by uh, the central government. Uh, and they've used uh, those resources as well as uh, websites like YouTube to uh, disseminate news, to upload videos, and importantly, to uh, try and get information out about demonstrations and gatherings. Of course, the government has its own people who are uh, also tech savvy, and they've been uh, trying to get those uh, uh, or jamming those sites. A lot of uh, groups outside of Iran, individuals outside of Iran, have set up proxy networks, proxy servers, and the youth and internet users in Iran have been using those proxy servers to uh, uh, get around the censorship. About a quarter of Iranian uh, households have uh, uh, computers in uh, their homes. Uh, there are internet cafes largely limited to uh, the big cities. So the internet has really become the uh, tool of choice, or really the hardest vehicle for a central authority uh, to put down. It's an excellent example of how uh, opposition movements can uh, use this fantastic resource that was barely available, you know, 10 years ago even to this extent, uh, uh, to, to get their message out.